Hi, Prashant, and uh, thank you for having me. Thank you, Inspirant, for doing such an amazing work. Uh, thank you for such a kind introduction. Uh, yes, uh, one day on my way to work, I met with an accident, and uh, unfortunately, after a few days, I had to undergo an amputation uh, to save my limb, uh, sorry, to save my life. And uh, after a few days of hospitalization, I came back home, started my rehab and, you know, uh, used badminton for my rehabilitation. And, you know, things worked out in my favor. I chose a sport that I loved. And luckily, the sport is going to make its debut at Paralympics uh, in uh, 2021 now, which uh, because of this corona situation has got uh, postponed for one year from 2020 to 2021. Uh, my event as a singles category won't be an event where I won a gold medal. So I'm trying for mixed doubles now. Uh, of course, it's a little uh, tough because our ranking in mixed doubles is little, uh, we are a little uh, behind uh, many champions. So, but yeah, we are trying to, you know, uh, improve our rankings. And uh, I think this one year we may get some chance where new tournaments will be added and uh, we can also... Uh, you know, try and become, uh, improve our ranking. So what do I tell you? Like I, I had uh, chosen bad, uh, badminton as a sport since childhood. Uh, I have studied in uh, Kendriya Vidyalay, uh, Atomic Energy Central School. So my father was a scientist at Baba Atomic Research Center in Mumbai. And uh, in there we had a lot of facilities uh, for all the, uh, employees of Department of Atomic Energy. So we had uh, good grounds, good areas, and very open, much open spaces, which we don't f uh, find much in Mumbai. So uh, I had badminton court nearby. I used to go for coaching there. And uh, in my school, I had also chosen many other sports like uh, football, basketball, volleyball. And I also used to take part in, uh, you know, all, uh, all sports, athletics, track and field, uh, I was in, uh, I was taking part in school drama, uh, elocution competitions. So since childhood, I've been, I was uh, always a uh, out extracurricular participation while a kid, and it helped me, uh, you know, like it uh, changed my personality a lot. Uh, I was very docile initially, but then uh, I became really outgoing in these few years. Uh, I started my engineering in Somaya in uh, Vidya Vihar. I finished it in 2010. So we had a badminton court there. I used to play in my school, college, and after I after my uh, graduation in 2010, I joined a software company called as Atos. And even for that company, I used to play corporate level tournaments. It was just one year since I uh, started working, and one day on my way to work, I met with an unfortunate accident. Uh, I had such amazing uh, support system around me, which because of which I was able to deal with such a big loss in such a uh, positive manner. And uh, all I can say is because I had some amazing doctors, prosthetists, and my family and friends, because of which uh, you know I had uh, I had people who were pushing me to my limits. I had people who would tell me that, you know, things are possible. And there was uh, not much of negativity around me or I, I mean, I didn't hear much of negativity because of which I had a lot of hope and uh, I was very optimistic to pursue things. I had to, uh, when I got selected, so I used to participate at corporate tournaments and in one corporate tournament, I had got a gold medal after my amputation when I was still learning how to walk. So, you know, one thing led to the other and I, uh, the love for sport actually, uh, made me pursue a sport which is very agile, which requires a lot of agility and a lot of movement, which my prosthetic unfortunately didn't allow me. So in 2018, I and uh, used that prosthetic to, you know, pursue my ambition for uh, para sports. Um, in these few years, I've taken some uh, really big risk, like, you know, I have pursued a sport which was very popular, which was not getting much funding. Uh, I left my secure job to pursue this sport. So I moved to another city. I was staying alone, uh, practicing eight to 10 hours a day. 
uh making sure my body <laughs> like recovers of all these training so uh it was tough initially when i moved to hyderabad uh, with gopi sir and i started training but it i uh, actually got a hang of it and a lot of things happened in these few years i had developed an ambition to become the best i was mediocre initially but to be the best i worked really hard uh and made sure that you know uh i do something so in 2019 last year i got a gold at uh, world championship i had not even won a single gold before that so this was my first achievement first major achievement in a very uh, big tournament uh which gave me a lot of appreciation from people around me and uh, last year i also uh, got a national award for being a best sports person with a disability so you know i made sure that these few years every day i took one small step to walk one step further and now if i look back i have walked a lot and uh, i did a lot of uh, good things and uh, i can say that you know i have uh, i've done something out of my adversity i've chosen Uh, of course it was an adversity but i converted into an opportunity and made sure i be the best in that area so uh, well uh, when i came back home after you know hospitalization uh when i saw myself for the first time in the mirror when i was uh, i felt like is my uh, like am i defined by what body parts i have and what body parts i don't or uh, is it who i am as a person and uh, it kept i mean at first i felt little incomplete but within a few hours i gave myself a pat on the back saying that you survived this you survived a big accident and you have done something uh, because i i had injured my hands and my accident i had injured my leg for 21 days i couldn't even you know aise karwat tak nahi badal sakte the waise हॉस्पिटल में रहती थी मैं तो मुझे लगता था आई कैन यू नो स्लीप विदाउट इवन चेंजिंग साइड्स आई कैन डू एनीथिंग तो आई टुक एवरी डे वन डे एट अ टाइम टू इम्प्रूव माय करंट सिचुएशन एट फर्स्ट फॉर मी इवन यू नो गेटिंग अप एंड बैलेंसिंग माय सेल्फ ऑन क्रचेस वाज डिफिकल्ट बट देन आई वॉज यू नो क्लाइंबिंग स्टेप्स ऑन माई क्रचेस i was uh, very adamant to you know be uh, good on my crutches so i have done trekking on my crutches i have traveled like 6 to 8 kilometers on my crutches uh, i have gone to gulmarg and done uh, after like gandola ride there is one small trek you do from where you can see loc so uh, i have done that on my crutches and uh, i there are things which i feel i can't do on my prosthesis which i have done on my crutches but there is one moment where i felt that you know i am talented that was when uh, in that uh, badminton sport itself i uh, i had played a, a corporate level tournament intra uh, company tournament in 2011 before my accident and i had won a gold there and when i was still learning how to walk again and you know leave that identity of a crutch i again played that tournament in the year 2012 which was just few months after i came back home and i started my rehabilitation and there i won a gold again uh, defeating uh, everybody else and at that time i had become a disabled person and everybody else were able bodied people and when i did that i realized that i am really talented <laughs> and uh, i have good hand skills and i am uh, all i require of course i have lost mobility but that doesn't it doesn't matter uh, we are uh, i realize that we as people are amazing we can like it heals like our body heals uh, people tell me that you know uh, time time can heal everything but i think what we do with that time heals everything and i think uh, that is what i have always believed in to make sure i spend my time in the best way to train myself uh, or push myself to the limits and uh, you know like and even if i say uh, in my sport uh, very few few people with amputation uh, in women's category they play the sport because it is difficult to play on a prosthetic but then uh, initially when it was tough last year i converted it to a gold so you know there have been so many things actually that has made me do this but that one moment you know took up take a badminton that or uh, 
tell me that i am super talented would be that corporate tournament where uh, i had again got that gold after my amputation 